What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Can you do me a huge favor? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because I'm not too proud to ask, even on Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas to all that celebrate. All right. Here's the deal, man. Uh, special Christmas version of the Quick Dose courtesy of the craziness going on between the console uh, console warriors and the PC master race man this is insane right um, there's a lot of people out here that are on the console side that are forming together and be like look console capabilities are now throwing the need for a high end PC out the window right my PC master race is like, uh-uh, no, no, cut it, homie. You know, because uh, NVIDIA just came out not too long ago and announced that their 2080 cars are more powerful than what's going to be in the next-gen consoles. And we'll get into that in a later video, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, we got some shocking revelations right now. Um, because it appears that your homeboy, Mike Yabara, formerly of Microsoft and a big time PC guy is salivating over the capabilities of the PlayStation 5. I'm gonna read you an article courtesy of uh, segmentnext.com. Y'all give me y'all thoughts. All right, so segmentnext.com reports that former Microsoft executive compares PlayStation 5 features to PC. Article reads as such. We're reaching that point where consoles are close to being as powerful as PC, especially when it comes to next-gen systems. Although we still don't know all the features of the PlayStation 5 will include, some of the industry veterans are quick to compare it to desktop capabilities. Former Microsoft executive Mike Yabar is confident that the PlayStation 5 will be able to surpass those, not only stand up to them. Mike Yabar is one of the most sociable industry representatives on Twitter, Posting his opinions on the matters like Nintendo Switch, upcoming games, or the next-gen consoles. Lately, he confessed what he believes about the PlayStation 5. According to Yabaro, the PlayStation 5 can surpass those of current PCs. He goes on to say that if, that if what Sony has shown about the console is true, then we'll see some interesting times. We still don't know exactly how powerful PlayStation 5 is, although Sony is quick to set down some of its basic features like new DualShock, the existence of an SSD and a super fast loading time. It all comes down to how developers will be able to give, uh, to get, to use it as a means to create even more detailed and big games. Given your bar is now working at Blizzard, we can expect him to be already working on something for the next generation of consoles. Mike Yabar has left uh, the office as vice president of Microsoft Xbox program in October. A few days later, he announced that he was starting uh at blizzard you know what i'm saying as for playstation 5 we will have no concrete release data uh we still have no concrete release data however we are to expect its launch during the last quarter of 2020 all right and let's go let's go to mike yabar's tweet you know what i'm saying that that sparked this whole thing you know um okay they don't go directly to the tweet but that's okay so here's the thing y'all Mike Yabarro is being very social. He had commented earlier on how the PR police is off of him now, <laughs> indicating that, you know, every word that came out of his mouth was heavily guarded and heavily, you know, scripted for Microsoft, you know, and now he has those guardrails off. So he's just speaking freely about a bunch of stuff, okay? Um, so that's one of the big takeaways from this. Um, with that being said, him saying this validates a lot of the claims made from PlayStation, Perfect. right? You know that this is going to be big, powerful. They haven't thrown any numbers out there. Nobody's really thrown any concrete numbers for them out there, but they just keep saying power, power, power. So this is a big deal coming from somebody like Mike Perfect. getting this type of, uh, uh, you know, promotion. With that being said, you also got to think about the relationship that Activision Blizzard has with PlayStation. You know what I'm saying? So... Who knows? Who knows? But this is like an eye-opening event coming from someone like Mike Yabar that's known, known to heavily, heavily favor PC gameplay, right? 
And then lastly, we got to think about this. Um, even though, and I and I prefer PC. PC is my number one game way to play. Even though PCs will give you the best end result as far as fidelity and performance, bar none. That getting there takes an initial investment, and it takes a lot of manual intervention. You know what I'm saying? Um, and a lot of console players don't want that. It's like having an automatic car to a stick car, you know, a car that you got to manually shift, right? A manually shift car might be more, have more, a lot more mobility, you know, with it and stuff like that at the end of the day. People just want to be able to start the car, hit the start button and just keep their hands on the wheel. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. So if you can get a little bit of the best of the both worlds, the plug and play of the console, but you know, great performance, um, you know, teetering on the, uh, on the path towards what, t what PC can offer, you know, a medium to high uh, PC. Perfect. Yeah, you know, hey. That, that, that's a great discussion point. Me, I'm going to still prefer the PC because I already have one. And right now, the great thing about PC is once you make that big time, that big, big, big initial investment, it's just a matter of you just making modular updates here and there. You know what I'm saying? So instead of me paying $5.99 for, for, for a new console that's going to have static parts, meaning I can't swap those parts in and out, I can take that $5.99 Four ninety nine, whatever it is, and invested in a new card or a new processor. Trade in my other one. You know what I'm saying? The PC mo uh, market is very mobile. But again, if you don't want to do all that, if you just want to simply do plug and play, you know, you know, you 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 get some great options and things with these new consoles. So a lot of interesting things to think about um, and to go over during Christmas. But with that said, that's it. I don't want to hold y'all for too long. Y'all know where y'all can find me, and then y'all enjoy y'all holidays. And with that being said. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But as always, you have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.